Hey guys, IBB dropping in on the canyon map. And I think that guy was trying to tell me something, although I don't speak boom like that. I, I, I really wouldn't be able to tell you what he was trying to tell me. Because I thought he was going to tell me that he was going to go over and get that side beacon, but then he really didn't go over and get the side beacon, so I'm not quite sure what he was trying to tell me there. If he was trying to tell me anything, maybe he was just shoot me in the face. Who knows? Anyway, I have heard that this new matchmaking system has uh, messed up a lot of players' way that they like to play this game. And probably, I'm assuming, I don't know, but I am assuming that it has affected one clan in particular, and that clan is notorious for seal clubbing. And it is the clan that I get matched up against here in this map there's a squad of four of them it's a uh, team flex and if you play on the android version of this game and you've played for any length of period of time you probably know team flex in fact they are so notorious that whenever i see them in a game or at least used to see them in a game i could bet you a week's worth of gold i knew what was going to be in their hangar and that was going to be the Geppard with, with Mags and maybe the Geppard with Aphids and maybe a Rogatka. Uh, that was pretty much the setup that they ran. Uh, but unfortunately now, unfortunately for them or whoever it is that used to run that setup, uh, Pixonic has actually changed that. So they get stuck into gold along with the rest of us. And so now it's not so easy to pick out exactly what it is that they're going to have in their hangar. Uh, but one of the things that I did notice while playing this game against them is the strategies and the tactics that they employed. When you play or any player plays the Geppard Magnum setup, they are sort of a one-trick pony type of setup. You run, gun, and shoot. That's what you do. And so players sort of take on that style of play no matter what bot they happen to deploy. And I noticed that with these guys. For instance, earlier in this game, uh, several of the red team members came down here and they sort of crowded underneath this this bridge here so they took the beacon and then they just sort of stayed here and that is a tactic that you will see a lot in the silver tier however when you get up into the gold tiers sitting down here underneath this bridge is not something that you can really do unless you want to get picked off and just an example, you can do that, you can sit underneath that bridge like that, that's fine, as long as the enemy team doesn't have anybody over here on the flank with mid-range weapons uh, so that they can pick you off. And you find out pretty quick in a game whether or not the enemy team has those type of weapons and those type of players that are going to come over here and do that. And obviously, we had that. Obviously, I'm here. I'm going to do that. That's the tactic that I'm going to do. And it's like they weren't even paying attention to me. Once they got underneath that bridge, they focused on the players that were immediately on the, on the other side of them. And that is a silver tier tactic. And right here, this rhino, he's gonna come out, he's gonna, he's gonna come after me even though there was another one of my teammates right in front of him. And this other rhino is going to do the exact same thing. He's going to come out and he's going to pay no attention to whoever's on his right. Now, these guys did not play the Geppard mag setup. I think I saw a Geppard aphid running, or two running around here. And that I'm hungry guy, I'm not going to chase him. Uh, <laughs> I'm not so brazen that I'm going to go do that. Uh, that is not a tactic that I usually employ. And when I do, I get my butt kicked for it. So why would I do that? Like 
So, but I am going to keep my eye on him, and I see that he's working his way over here. So once he gets to about, you know, 370 on the range, I go ahead and jump and see what kind of damage I can chip into him. And of course, he tries that same tactic of jumping backwards, but at that point, I'm too close. Our jumps are going to pretty much cancel each other out. So I was able to get some of his health there, but not all of it. He got some support there from, from my left. Now, I have stuck the Tehrans back on my Lancelot here, and I've got to say, I actually do not like that. That works well in the Silver Tears, uh, but, you know, I'm in gold now, and it just uh, there's too many shielded bots running around, and these Tehrans just don't work. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and stick the Orkins back on it. And, obviously, I was going to go over there and get that annoying guy, but <laughs> it's one of my teammates, actually got him for me so I decided to come back over here and this guy here he actually gets more he gets one on me because I'm gonna come back over because I think he's plasma and I thought he was plasma because the first time that I engaged him just a second ago he didn't fire his splash weapons at me and I and so I just assumed that he had Tehrans on, but he actually did not. And so he kind of got me on that one. I don't know if he was intending to do that or what. Alright, so I decided to come out in my Carnage Trident setup. Because I didn't actually see these guys over here. And so I should have actually took a look around to see where the players were. And I didn't. And I kind of got stuck with this one right here. And actually, my DB Griffin would have been a better choice. But it's not going to matter much. And at first, when I was playing this game, I thought it was a little peculiar that they would uh, come over here and try and get our side beacon, especially when we they get taken out and it's their last bots. But then I thought, I looked up after watching the game after the fact, I saw that they were behind on beacons, and so they kind of had to do that, employ that aggressive strategy to... Uh, try and win this game. They needed beacons, so I understand why they came over. So it was a good game all around. Good job, Team Flex. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I have new gameplay videos every single day. Smash the thumbs up, thumbs down button. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Until then.